Last class period, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about difference of two squares, right? If you have a square term and a square term. Well, we know x squared is a square term. We know 9 is a square term. However, 6 is not a square term. So I can't apply the um, difference of two squares in this example. Right? Can, 6 is not a square term. You cannot take the square root of 6. So you cannot apply the difference of two squares. So um, if looking at this, the main important thing the directions say to factor out the GCF. You guys can see that these both share a 3. So I factor out a 3, I'm left with an x squared minus 3. That's a squared number. 3 is not a squared number. So guess what? That's it. That's as factored as that problem can get. Okay. I saw a lot of students making up a lot of stuff, factoring that further down. Sometimes you're not going to be able to further factor it. Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Caught me right before I turned it off. Yes, that is too. But it's still not factored anymore. You're right. Thank you. You can't factor that any 